a career dedicated to service, to keeping others safe, to making the world a better place to live in. Anne Farrow has given decades of her time and talents, her hard work and her heart to the cause of safety, security, and saving lives. From her earliest days, Anne grew up in a family that showed her the importance of being a global citizen. With a father whose job took her family across the globe, and a mother who showed her the important role women play as leaders and change makers, the path ahead for Anne Farrow always had service at its heart. You know, I have a feeling that my grandmother's um, admonition early on, she just always said, each one, teach one. Each of us help somebody. And I think that always just stuck in my head. And never afraid to dig in and do the hard work, Anne's passions almost always involved a hands-on approach. In fact, it's a wonder I scratch my head that I've ever been able to function in an office environment and be effective. Because I really, I'm much more a hands-on person and kind of one of the worker bees. Leaving high school early, she went out west at 16 to work at a stable caring for horses, then a marina building boats. And when she started her higher education, first at SUNY Albany, then St. John's College, studying philosophy and math, that can-do spirit took her far. First to the Cote d'Ivoire with the Peace Corps. The Kennedy administration really promoted the Peace Corps. And so that somehow stuck in my head. Um, and I said, yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So off I went. After serving in the Peace Corps, she went on to earn her master's degree in public management from the University of Maryland. From there, a career in public service was a natural progression for someone who always had the greater good in mind. Starting at the local level, then moving to the state level, one of Anne's earliest posts was at the Maryland General Assembly, working on revenue and taxation, and working to help legislation move forward. When I was with the General Assembly, I just, I realized as much as I loved the process, um, I felt like I needed to be challenged to work uh, more closely with managing people and not process. And to the AMVA community's great benefit, her next step forward took her to the Maryland Motor Vehicle Administration. She worked on vehicle services, working with a mentor in Marshall Rickert, focusing on the emissions program and improving the rate of insured drivers at first. She found great satisfaction in managing people more than processes. And she learned how to deal with the public, not always being happy with change, but keeping in mind that serving the people should come first. Understanding that at the end of the day, the employees of the MVA really just want to help and the customers coming in really are just trying to comply. So the best thing we can do as um, people who influence that outcome is enable employees to do their best in the most courteous and professional way they can with the newest technology, the best technology, the most accurate knowledge and support of supervisors. And citizens should have everything they need to expect a good transaction. And before long, her next step was as administrator at the MVA. To those she worked with at MVA, Anne was an empathetic, inspiring leader who helped bring out the best in those around her. Among her accomplishments was implementing the graduated driver's license and kiosk for vehicle registration renewals and a mobile service center keeping the customer experience and satisfaction at the forefront of the work. From the time I was at the Maryland MVA, safety, service, security, were our, that was our mantra. I mean, we were always service focused. In fact, what, what lifts our wings um, is the safety vision. After making her mark at the state level, at MVA, and in the private sector, in the Maryland Motor Truck Association, Ann Fair was appointed to a federal government post, FMCSA administrator. People, I would walk like from the metro stop over to Senate office buildings past the Capitol building on my left and the Supreme Court on my right, and I would just remind myself, you may never walk this way again. You may never walk this way again. Make the most of this moment. At FMCSA, her focus was always on safety. 
focusing on accountability for drivers and companies, strengthening oversight of high-risk carriers, and creating better tools for law enforcement partners. Under Anne's leadership, FMCSA strengthened restrictions on drivers' hours, placed electronic locking devices on trucks, requiring doctors who examine drivers to be certified, and made drug and alcohol testers do more reporting. And from FMCSA, Amber was fortunate to have her named our president and CEO. She has overseen great transformations in our industry. The implementation of state-to-state -state verification service and now driver history record functionality, working to make one driver, one history, a reality, strengthening identity verification and the future of driver licenses, positioning AMVA as an international leader in the development of mobile driver's licenses, leading safety and innovation around automated and connected vehicles, and expanding public access to Nimvitas, protecting consumers and fighting fraud. I'm very proud to be a colleague of the team of talent here. We, we have uh, just a really knowledgeable, dedicated, uh, diverse um, set of coworkers and colleagues. And I'm really proud to be among them and to have learned from all of you. She has been a leader and a mentor to so many and has made the development and training of the next generation of leaders one of her lasting legacies here at AMVA. My message for the AMVA community is continue to do what you do best, which is come together uh, in a collaborative way, identify problems, talk about how to solve problems, identify solutions, and then ultimately kind of derive the best kind of approach to solve issues that will always come up because we're in the people business. And as long as we can find ways to do that better and help people achieve their mobility and safe mobility better in all the ways that this community identifies, then gosh, go for it. I just, this is the richest community of intellectual and um, emotional energy to problem solving as I've ever worked in. It's a career anyone would be proud of, and we are lucky to have been a part of it.